I'm Tosha Jackson at Methodist Abana Germantown Hospital. We're looking forward to the opportunity to care for you during your stay. And this video is a quick presentation of what you can expect in the hospital and after your surgery. On the day of your surgery, you will check in at one of our admission desks located in either the main entrance or in the lobby of the pavilion at the same day surgery desk. The pavilion is located on our campus just off the entrance from Germantown Road. It's important to arrive at your scheduled time, but you don't need to arrive more than 10 minutes early. Here are some of the do's and don'ts to remember the day of your surgery. Don't eat or drink anything after midnight the night before your surgery. Ask your doctor if you should take regular medicines the day of, such as blood pressure or cholesterol. If the answer is yes, be sure to just take these with a small sip of water. Don't bring medications to the hospital. We will provide these while you are here. Don't bring valuables such as jewelry or large amounts of cash. Be sure to remove earrings and any piercings, nail polish, or acrylic nails. Please also note that you will be asked to remove dentures and contact lenses before your surgery. It's best to designate a family member or friend to help keep up with these for you. To make your stay more comfortable, here are a few things you may want to bring. Slip on shoes with non-skid soles for when you leave the hospital, pants or shorts with a loose elastic waistband, and a rolling walker if you use one at home. Before your surgery, you will meet with several members of your care team to go over any last minute questions you might have. This includes your surgeon, the anesthesiologist, and members from the nursing team. Many patients want to know about how long it takes from the time you check in at the hospital until you are out of surgery and in your room. Providing there are not uh, any delays, most patients can expect to spend about two hours checking in and getting ready for surgery, two hours in surgery, and one hour in recovery called the post-anesthesia care unit. Generally, most patients are in their room about four to five hours after arriving in the hospital. Waking up from surgery can be a little disoriented. Here's what you can expect uh, as you recover in the post-anesthesia care unit. You will have a dressing over your incision area and small tubes that may help drain fluids for the first day or two. If you've had hip surgery, you will have a foam wedge in place that may help stabilize your leg and keep your hip in place. With knee surgery, you will have an immobilizer on your leg and you might have an infusion pump in place for pain management. You will recover in this room for about an hour and then you will be transferred to your room. The Total Joint Center is located on the fourth floor and called 4 West. In the Total Joint Center, we take a multidisciplinary approach to care to get you back on your feet and moving again. Nurses will help administer your pain medication, monitor your fluids, and attend to your general health needs. We also have medical assistants who will help you to the restroom, change your linens, and attend to any other personal needs. Beginning on the second day, you will get two visits each day from a physical therapist. He or she will create a customized plan to help you gain confidence using your new hip or knee. You will be able to stand and walk within 24 hours after surgery. The quicker you can get up and use the walker with the help from our team, the more independent you will become and the stronger your new hip or knee will be. However, we have a saying in the hospital, call, don't fall. It's important for you to call for assistance when you'd like to get out of the bed or chair, even if you think you can manage it on your own. In addition to physical therapy, occupational therapy will come once a day to show you tips and tricks on how to bathe, get dressed, and put on your shoes while keeping your hip and knees safe. A physician will check in each day to monitor your progress, check for infection, monitor your pain level, and medications. Managing your pain is very crucial to your recovery. Our goal in managing your pain is for you to be able to move easily, get in and out of bed, and participate in therapy and rest comfortably. You can expect to feel some pain even with the medication. We will work with you to keep you as comfortable as possible. But your job is to communicate to us how you are feeling so that adjustments can be made if needed. Remember it, that it works best and less medication is needed if you do not let the pain become severe before taking any medication. We have another saying in the hospital and that stay ahead of your pain. Be sure to ask for medication as soon as you are aware that your pain level is rising. It's good to keep in mind that most patients stay just two to three days in the hospital, starting with the day of your surgery. 
Most patients are discharged in the morning of the third or fourth day. But there are occasions when a patient is not safe enough or mobile enough to go directly home. Your discharge plans may include the following. Discharge home with immediate outpatient physical therapy. Discharge home with home health physical therapy visits. Or rehabilitation in a skilled nursing facility or inpatient rehab center. A case manager will work with you and your family to help coordinate your plans. Your clinical condition and insurance plays a major role in your discharge options. It is very important that you know that you have a choice with your discharge options. Please contact your insurance company and clarify what post-hospitalization services are available to you. During your first few weeks at home, you will adapt what you've learned at the hospital to your own setting. Plan for someone to stay with you for several days when you first go home. You won't be able to drive until your doctor says that that's okay. Keep in mind that you will need someone to take you to your first doctor's appointments and to physical therapy. A typical physical therapy program after surgery for total hip replacement includes an average of four weeks of physical therapy with two to three visits per week. Most total knee replacements take four to six weeks of physical therapy and three visits per week. Remember, you have a new total joint but not replaced muscles. That's why physical therapy is so important to help you get back to doing the functional things you do in life. Also, you have a choice where you go for physical therapy. Methodist Germantown has an outpatient physical therapy program located on this campus in Medical Building A. Our location offers customized, individual programs, one-on-one -on -one patient care, experienced physical therapists, hour-long therapy sessions, and a convenient location. Physically, my life uh, before surgery was very limited. Um, I could drive, but my walking was um, very painful. My daily living um, routine was difficult. Um, my life was compromised. Um, social and um, family activities, I ended up having to say, I just can't. Uh, with your, when your life is compromised like that, you feel like you need to go ahead and, and take necessary steps in order to um, improve your life mobility. I ended up with uh, having um, knee, knee replacement surgery. My new knee has, has uh, facilitated um, our family to travel again as we once did. Uh, it's a lot easier to get around airports, um, going up and down stairs at uh, different venues. Uh, my endurance uh, is much better. My life is back to uh, things I can do uh, as I was before. The therapist really supported me during this effort. We hope that this short video has helped answer many of your questions you've had regarding your upcoming surgery. For more resources on joint replacement, we invite you to visit our website. Thank you for choosing Methodist Germantown Hospital to care for you. Be treated well.